Elias Fakiri was born with a head full of hair, so much that the hospital staff called him Baby Elvis. He was the second son born in the same year for the Fakiri family, originally from Afghanistan. The younger one is like, his health is not, you know, so good because I found at the age of 10 months, he was diagnosed with a cancer, brain cancer. When he was 10 months old, Elias had a seizure. Scans revealed a brain tumor. Emergency surgery removed much of the tumor. Chemo took care of some more. Now he needs a special radiation treatment, only available in Boston and starting in May. But there's a problem. His mother, Sajia, is not a Canadian citizen. That means no passport. She's been in the country long enough to qualify, but one requirement for citizenship is proficiency in English or French. Sajia hasn't reached that level yet. Through her husband, I asked how it would feel to be away from her son for those three weeks in May. Even a second is too much for her. When Elias cries in the hospital, only his mother can stop him. Without her in Boston, they're worried his tears won't turn to smiles this quickly. They're worried the added stress of separation could devastate him. And Elias, without his mother, he cannot make it. Sir. Sajia is a permanent resident of Canada, which means she can travel to the United States if she applies for a U.S. visitor's visa. But that process can take months, and the family is worried they just don't have time. MP Nick Whalen dropped by the Janeway Hospital earlier today to meet the boy. He says his office is looking for a solution and they hope to find one in time. The family hopes that someone can intervene and waive the language proficiency test so she can get citizenship. If she gets citizenship, she can get a passport and be with her boy in Boston. Ryan Cook, CBC News, St. John's.